I'm glad to oh. see you got wood. So it's a little bit of a crapshoot. So wait one sec, you're, you're an interior designer now? What the hell? That's not cool. So we bought this beautiful carpet from Alexanians. Stanton is the brand. And uh, a couple of tips for keeping your carpet budget under control is to have the actual carpet company come out to do the detailed measure and ask them if there is a way to maximize the use of the carpet. So in other words, minimize scrap and waste. Um, there was a big opportunity in this particular theater uh, where we saved well over a thousand dollars on the carpeting by authorizing a small seam by the entry which is almost invisible. We did an amazing job on the seam but by doing this we were able to finish off this small section using what would have been scrap material and the only way to avoid this seam would have been to have another complete roll length of the room of the carpet which is why it was so expensive. And uh, asking questions like this can save a lot of money. All right, so we're standing here with the rack and with our main man, Marco Francis, who's uh, busy hooking up the home theater gear. And uh, we went with a slightly larger rack than we had to free up a couple of extra shelves here for, some, for the new equipment. And what we've got here is a nice Denon surround sound receiver, a satellite receiver for day-to-day -day TV, an Apple TV for on-demand stuff, and then we've got a little Blu-ray player here. We still have a few Blu-rays kicking around. And then on top, Marco, can you tell us what this is? This is a Control 4 EA1. Um, so it has a little antenna here for Zigbee, which taught, so the remote in the theater will be able to communicate with the processor. The processor tells the equipment what to do, essentially. Now, if I want to use my iPad to control the system, will this let me do that? Absolutely. It's just a beautiful app. Everything's totally integrated in there. You'll have if you have a larger system, your lighting, your HVAC, uh, all your entertainment, everything's just there. If you want to open and close the garage doors, that's all built into the app, and all the connections are made into the processor. We gonna be watching movies tonight or what? You betcha. Right on, man. Keep up the great work. Thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Well, my dream theater on a budget is complete. Very excited. And I've uh, got Rob from Ridgeline coming by in a few minutes to check it out, see the finished product. But we have uh, all the fabric wrap panels are now in place. Beautiful Kinetics uh, fabrics, Guilford of Maine. And uh, nice clean seams. These are all fabric wrap panels with MDF in behind using the fabric. Uh, it helps to soften the sound in the room, improve the acoustics, but because we're just wrapping MDF, quite cost effective. And we've got our wainscot down here, just a nice simple paint finish. These very cool little stainless steel down lights from Lightline that uh, Sheba worked into the design. And we have our beautiful uh, reclaimed beams. I just love these things. We've got the, again, some more recessed down lighting in here and uh, this is one of the things that Rob from Ridgeline did. We got our two rows of seats set up. Perfect heights, so we've got great sight lines and uh, lots of clearance, lots of room for walking around in terms of the staging. We've done, uh, we've got definitive technology speakers are all installed now at this point so we've got the, uh, the center channel mounted to the wall here. 
We've got a couple of these SuperCube 2000 subwoofers. And man, these things are explosive. They just totally kick. It's mind-blowing, actually, how much sound comes out of these little tiny subs and very affordable. And what we did is we brought our power cords and our outlets down below the fabric wrap panels where it meets the carpet so that uh, from the front you're not seeing cords coming out at receptacle height which would have been higher than the subwoofer. So nice clean look that way. And we've got our left and right channel speakers nice and tight to the wall. Very clean uh, looking speaker. This is the Mythos from Definitive Technology. Wow, Quentin. Hey, buddy. How are you? With the Good, to see, you. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Turned out very well. Thank you. Yeah. I like the uh, fabric. Had good, uh, had good people on the project, you know there what I mean? No, That's no yeah, you guys did a lot, too. <laughs> Finished it off. That's it. Yeah, so it's yeah, beautiful. the fabric wrap panels are all done, and uh, nice yeah. tight seams on those, and the, the space you left for us behind the beams worked oh, out yeah. perfect. Perfect. Tucked Great. them in there. Once in a while works out. Oh, yeah. It came Looks together, really good. Came together nice, nice. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, no problem. You did a great job. Everyone, uh, everyone's been through here so far. Loves it. Great. The ceiling's a huge hit, and uh, Actually, the stage, the, the, the heights wall. of the stage worked out perfect. Great. Brick yeah. wall really adds some character too. Really good. So, I think should we fire this puppy up? Mm. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, That's yeah. Why I'm here. Yeah, man. So check this out. This is yeah. Control 4's new uh, EA1 remote. Okay. I think I was telling you about that earlier yeah. on. So this thing here, feel the weight of that thing first of all. Nice, eh? Feeling Pretty a solid. Of, a lot of material in there. So if you don't want to throw yeah. this one at the screen if the no. Leafs are losing, which is like every <laughs> game, right? So it's super easy. You basically press, actually you can do it. You can even turn the system on, man. There even, you go. Even, even a contractor can yeah. do it. So press watch. That's like you want to watch something, right? Yeah. And then you could scroll down, choose Apple TV, and press select. That's it, man. The whole system's firing on right now. No kidding, eh? The receiver in the back, the projector. You can control your lights from this thing, too. Really? Yeah. Things have come a long way. Yeah. And I'm young and I don't even know and how this works. And super cost effective too. Yeah. So you should pr press the list there, it brings up some additional functions. And then choose lighting. Yep. And then uh, go to lighting scenes. And then choose movie. That's going to dim all the lights down gradually over like 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, See there that? you go. It's coming down. Movie time. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Ah, comfy. Yeah. If you're looking at it with the iPhone, yeah. Um, there's an app for this too, right? So, so I'll just press the Control 4 app, and it brings up the uh, all the functions. Yeah. So you could like turn all the lights on. I could choose like an intermission scene. So we've got full control here. And this is all like this can this remote is designed to be part of like a whole house automation system okay. too. So if you had like lighting throughout the whole house, you'd have mm -hmm. access cool. to all that too. And then yeah, just like you did on the remote, I could choose watch. It brings up the sources that I've got available, which shows Apple TV. And then my controls are right here. Hmm. And what's neat with the Apple is actually it's controlling it through the computer network. So you've got like all the functions like, you know, pause, play, everything graphically all laid too. out. Yeah. So you basically, if you don't have the remote, you can use the app yeah, as well. Yeah, use the app and that way everyone in the house can have their own remote too. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that's neat here, pass me the remote, is this, uh, this button here, this red button, this control four button right there. If I here, press that one, watch what happens. It takes over the screen. Oh, now, okay. so now you've got your interface right on the screen. So if you don't want to look at the remote, yeah. you can just like scroll around on the, on the screen. I want to control my lights. Right, I want to adjust my art lights. Right, I want to adjust my wall lights. You know what I mean? Very neat. All off. So the beams, that's all the lighting that's up in the ceiling? Yep. And all the ones that are in a recess in yeah. the beams. Yep. It's all like custom labeled, so whatever, whatever makes sense. Yep. Let's fire up some video here. I think Batman versus Superman will have a good demo. Some good sound effects, I'm sure. Let's try it. Yeah, do the trailer. Do you have an Apple TV? No, I don't. No? no. Cool thing to get. They're super cheap, like uh, literally like 110, 120 bucks, something yeah. like that. And uh, it's just it basically gives you access to content through the internet, so you can rent movies. It just runs off your Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all. Th you can hardwire it to your network or, or off your Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So. I, that's yeah, so what we can watch. And what's neat is instead of like, remember I used to go to the DVD store and read yeah. the back of boxes and yeah. stuff? We can watch trailers and stuff now, right? So it's a bit of a preview of yeah. the movie. Yeah. I'm going to fire up this trailer here for this uh, Batman versus Superman. Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. People living in fear. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the laws. 
Yeah, so when you're finished, you just press room off. Yeah. And then uh, lights and everything come back on automatically, and the system shuts down. And it's amazing. Bob's your uncle. It's like a real theater. It's like a real theater, right? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> so, Glenn, what would a room like this end up costing? Well, you know, obviously certain factors play into it in terms of, yeah. you know, what, what's already in place and, you know, how far you want to go with it. But in terms of our, our investment here, uh, i got to tally up the final numbers, but it was, it was just under 30 grand. Not bad at all. Yeah, including the system and the, the seating and the... It's actually really affordable, I think. The, uh, construction we did and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty reasonable. I think uh, yeah. a lot of, lot of, lot of people can, can do that. It fits nicely into, you know, a basement finishing budget. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's nice. Well, you can have some entertainment at home. Oh, well, for sure. Something you can use all year round, That's too, right. you know? Yeah. When the uh, that cold weather comes back, you can come down here and watch yeah. the Leafs lose, you know? There you go. <laughs> Good for kids, teenagers. Exactly. And it's like, it's cheaper than taking a friend to 15 Leafs games. That's right. Yep. Right? Yeah. Right? And you got this for 10 years. At least. At least, yeah. It's beautiful. I'm jealous. Well, you got it to yours next. There we go. The next show? Maybe. All right. Anyone that loves their job every day? No. Maybe the, maybe the guy behind the camera. <laughs> maybe I should go back to school to be a video guy. Eh? James, teach me. Teach me how to have a job that I love every day. <laughs>